Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we have some new updates to discuss in the world of Apple, particularly related to the iPad Pro, how it may impact jailbreaking as well as tvOS 9.0.1. <laughs> All right, so getting started here, if you guys want a chance to win a brand new fourth gen Apple TV of your own, just be sure to rate this video up and stick around to the end for complete instructions on my all new giveaway. And with that said, let's first of all talk about the iPad Pro before we kind of transition into how, again, it may impact jailbreaking as well as the new firmware for the Apple TV fourth gen being 9.0.1. All right, so as stated on Apple's website, even since the device was unveiled alongside the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, and the fourth gen Apple TV, it's still stated available in November, and until today we haven't had a specific release date. Well, Apple issued a press release earlier this morning that clarifies things significantly. And getting a quick close-up of the URL there, you can see we are indeed on Apple.com. This is their latest press release. So at the top for the title it says Epic 12.9 inch iPad Pro available to order online Wednesday and arrives in stores later this week. And beneath that for the subheading we have iPad Pro arrives in over 40 countries, including the US, UK, China, and Japan. So Apple today announced iPad Pro is available to order online on Wednesday, November 11 from Apple.com and will arrive at Apple's retail stores, select carriers, and Apple authorized resellers starting later this week. Apple Pencil and Apple's new smart keyboard, also available to order on Wednesday, bring breakthrough levels of precision and utility to iPad Pro. So what we can take away from this is that on the 11th, so this coming Wednesday, we will be able to purchase the iPad Pro either through the Apple Store app on our iOS devices or at apple.com, and then it will start shipping shortly thereafter, and it should be available in stores later in the week. Again, that could either be Thursday or Friday, likely Friday in this case though. So Apple is officially releasing the iPad Pro this week. Now how may that impact jailbreaking? That's a really great question. So with the exception of Pangu for iOS 9.0.2, jailbreakers typically like to wait for the latest software releases as well as the latest devices if they're close or if they're on the horizon. In this case, we have iOS 9.1 as the latest public firmware and 9.2 is in its second round of developer beta testing. Of course, I've already talked about all of this before and if you guys want more information, just be sure to check out the cards. But essentially, iOS 9.2 is on the horizon and it looks like Pangu or Taiji, who Whoever intends to release the next untethered jailbreak utility, again whichever group that may be, will likely wait for iOS 9.2 because of course we are already pretty far along in iOS 9.1's life cycle and with iOS 9.2 and the possible new features the firmware may offer beyond what we see in the first and second beta iterations looming overhead, it wouldn't be smart to issue a jailbreak for iOS 9.1 only to have it patched by a pretty significant iOS release mere days or weeks later. And the same thing can can kind of be said for the iPad Pro. Chances are good the developers are going to want to include as many devices as possible, they always do, and the iPad Pro definitely is considered a new device. Again, we have a new and improved A9X chip powering this guy, so they'll want to get their hands on it to actually test it, if they're planning on implementing it into the next untethered jailbreak. Now, let's quickly talk about tvOS 9.0.1. So let's go ahead and switch on over here. tvOS 9.1 actually did go into beta last week, so if you do own a fourth generation Apple TV, you should start to see 9.0.1 appear as an update shortly. Chances are good it merely addresses some very minor complications found in the device because even tvOS 9.1 beta in its current form only adds extra Wi-Fi compatibility, in-app purchase support, as well as improved scrolling. Also, iDownloadBlog came across something pretty interesting in tvOS 9.1 beta. It appears as though Apple is starting to test the integration of Apple Music inside of Siri because previously in tvOS 9.0 to 9.0.1, Siri simply couldn't process requests for music. While you could play your Apple Music through the default music application, again, you couldn't use Siri for that functionality. Overall, though, I think we can all agree tvOS 9.1 doesn't offer much. Same thing goes for tvOS 9.0.1. It's very simple to install though. All you have to do is just launch up settings on your Apple TV and then go inside of system 
system followed by the software update portion and then manually check for an update if you don't automatically receive the prompt. But again, that's all handled OTA or over the air. And that pretty much wraps up everything I wanted to discuss with you guys in today's quick Apple update video. And now for those of you interested in winning a brand new fourth gen Apple TV, just navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of mobile Safari and sign up. It doesn't take long at all. Once you have signed up, then just download one or more of the sponsored apps in the main section, just so long as you do earn points and then go to the fourth tab and you see that referral link, take what appears after the equals symbol and post it in the comment section of the video I have linked on your screens now, just my unboxing of the fourth gen Apple TV. All right, guys, so I do hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. And if you wanna be updated more often, such as when I release new videos similar to this or even ones covering other things related to jailbreaking, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.